Hello, this is Heather Levere, and today I'm going to show you how to go through Outlook 2016 Calendar. So to go to the calendar, you're going to hit this button down here on the left-hand corner that says Calendar. It also may look like this. Let me show you here. If you're using the Compact Navigation, okay, it will be this icon here. So now that we're in the calendar, the default view is month to see my whole calendar, but you can change it up here on the top. By You can use it by day, so it's only going to show you the one day. Work week, it will show you your work week. The week will show you all days. The month, the one that we just went over. And schedule view. Schedule view is great to be used if you have multiple calendars. So for instance, if I go over here to my team and I look at Alicia's calendar and I'll add Jeff's calendar in there as well. So for Alicia's view, this is her view. It's gonna show me that she's not available at two Jeff's not available at two, and neither am I because I'm on the top here. So if I wanted to schedule something with both Alicia and Jeff, I can double click and let's say we'll do it at 12. I'm gonna add my attendees of Alicia. Search that for me, I can hit the two button. I can say Alicia's gonna come and then so is Jeff. I can do a quick search up here on the top. Jeff, and we're gonna get rid of this first part here. And I hit okay. So I'm going to invite Alicia and Jeff. Now I want to double check and make sure that this is a good time for them. I can use what's called the scheduling assistant up here on the top. And I can see here's Jeff's here, here's Alicia's here, and here's mine. And Alicia and Jeff weren't available till 11. Perfect. They're still available at noon. And we'll go back to the appointment by just hitting appointment here. Now I can just say meeting tomorrow put in my subject line. Now for the location, I have the ability to type this in or I have the ability to do a Skype meeting. When I select Skype meeting, it's going to auto populate a Skype meeting here for me. So I'm going to actually do this in the conference room. The time set and I can make sure that it's all set in the correct time zone. If I have this set correctly, then it will be set in my time zone. If I wanted to specify, I just add the time zone here to make sure to specify. If I need to do a reoccurring event, I can hit the reoccurring button and choose if I want this to reoccur every, let's say Thursday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday and Thursday, because Tuesday is when we're having this meeting. I hit okay, and that can be reoccurring. And then I may want this to actually be a private event. So if I hit this button here, what this means is anybody who has access to my calendar, who can view my calendar, will not be able to see this event unless they are Jeff or Alicia. This is great if I have a doctor's appointment or if I have something else that I just throw in my calendar and I don't need anybody else to really see it. Or if I just have a private conference with somebody that I don't technically want everybody to know that this is happening. I can mark that here. My meeting with Alicia and Jeff don't, doesn't need to be private though. Then I have the ability to add the importance. So if this is important, I have that ability for the low importance. And if I want to categorize this in any sort of way, I can add a category here as well. So I'm just going to simply say this is a test meeting so they are not confused. And I hit the send button and you'll see here populated on my calendar. Alicia and Jeff, I don't have full vi visibility to their calendar. But what these little uh, lines mean here, it just means that this is tentative for them. So they haven't actually accepted it yet. If they accepted it, it would look like this over here, this one. Now, if I wanted to change the views, and I don't want to use the schedule view. I have the ability to do, maybe let's do the work day. So there we go. I can see this might be a little bit nicer. And then if I really, I can actually do an overlay. So I can go over here, hit that button. I see that Alicia is still tentative. And if I wanted to use this to help schedule a meeting, I can also scroll over and add Jeff. So this works perfectly as well. The good way of the schedule view, uh, you can do a calendar overlay. If you just want to bring it back out, you just hit the arrow again and the arrow again. So these arrows bring them together. And if I just want to, I can even collapse Jeff to mine and Alicia over here on the right. So that's the capability of doing that. And if I needed to open the calendar, I simply can actually go up here, right click. And I can add a new calendar for myself if I want to. Or I can open a shared calendar, or I can open somebody else's calendar. I can only open their calendar if I have permission. 
So the way that you can manage permissions is you can go up here on the top and you can go to calendar permissions. Now this permission is for your calendar. Here I have the ability to say the default is everybody can see my free or busy. So if anybody adds my calendar, they can just see if I'm free or busy. If I want, I can even add a new one. So I can say, you know what, Alan, I need you to have access to my calendar and hit OK. He's going to see free busy by default. But if I want, I can change it and I can say he's going to have full details. And they have these default ones here. I can say he can be the owner and it's always it's going to change all of these. Or I can say I want him to be the author and now you can see he can't create any subfolders or any folders. Or I can say he can be a contributor and it's going to change this. Or I can, the last thing I can do is I can actually customize this myself. So if I say, okay, he's going to be a contributor, but I also want him to edit the things that he puts on my calendar and it's automatically going to change to a custom view here. And I simply just hit apply and okay. And now Alan will have access to my calendar. This is Heather Levere and this is a quick overview of Outlook Calendar.